Yeah, welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. I thought I'd do another Nintendo DS game because I haven't done one of those in a while. And this one looks amazing and I really, really like it. Um, it's actually called, and uh, of course that's in Japanese because it's an import, but you saw from the title of the video here, it's called Eye Shield 21 Max Devil Power. What a mouthful. Um, Eye Shield 21 is actually a manga series that uh, has been running very, for quite a long time in Japan, and they actually made an anime out of it, so I think maybe uh, my wife and I might watch that for uh, old farts watching anime sometime. Um, I saw a commercial that was on a Nintendo website for this in 2006, and I thought, this is an amazing looking game, especially considering it's on the DS. Like, it, it looks fantastic. You've got this... Um, Excellent use of the touch screen, and yes, I'm going to be getting the old stylus out for this one. Um, it uses, uh, it has really nicely rendered players, and what's really good about it, you don't have to understand Japanese to play it. And of course, being an, a DS game, it's not region locked, so you can play this on a DS or your 3DS or anything. Um, one word of note, though, it really messes up with the screen. Like, uh, I've got a protector on here, and I highly recommend, if you're going to get this game, make sure your touch screen has got some nice uh, protection on it, because you're going to be, like, rubbing and tapping and bouncing and doing all kinds of stuff with the with the screen to play this game. So, a word of warning, it, it's a bit rough on the old touch screen. Anyway, uh, before I start, uh, what can I tell you about Ice Shield 21? Um... As I say, the series has been around for a while. I didn't realize that uh, football was big in Japan. I know baseball is, but uh, apparently the manga, um, the developer, just or the sorry, the writer of the manga decided to make football, American style football, the the focus of his story, uh, and it uh, deals with uh, this guy, Sena Kobayakawa, as the main character. And uh, ironically, I have a, an old high school chum whose last name was Kobayakawa. Maybe that was part of the connection. Anyway, um, so Sina is, um, you know, your typical underdog nerdy kid who uh, is really, really fast. And so the high school um, football team, uh, the coach, I believe it is, decides to bring him on board uh, under the sort of guise that he's just the secretary, being just a little nerdy kid. Of course, that's all he would be. And then he gets him out on the uh, football field, and to disguise him, he wears this green eye shield over his eyes, so that you don't really know who is this mysterious character. But he can run really, really well. Now, uh, as I say, that'll all fall for the for when we do the anime, but let me just uh, show you the game, because it looks phenomenal. Um, see if I can just... yeah. Alright, let's give it some volume, and launch the game here. And, uh, oh, um, there's a main character as well, whose name escapes me, um, ya Yauchi, oh, Yamnamuri, or something like that. He's this weirdly blonde, demonic-looking character, and there is, um, implication that he is somewhat demonic in the anime, apparently. So, yes, if you see, um, a strange-looking blonde guy who likes to laugh, <laughs> yeah, a lot, um, he's kind of, you'd think he's almost the villain, but he's not. He's just sort of the, um, main guy for the football team who, um, Senna deals with occasionally, and, uh, they, they run the game. Anyway, let's, let's give Eye Shield, what is it again? <laughs> I've forgotten. Eye Shield 21 Max Devil Power! A try. There we go. So yeah, it's it's really really nice. Now um, the top uh, selection here is story mode, and it's it's kind of hard to if you don't understand Japanese, it's kind of hard to know what you're doing. You sort of you know you can wander around and you know, interact with the other kids in high school and stuff, but uh, uh, I wouldn't really bother with any of this stuff if you're going to play it. I think um, it probably just tells you the story. Like here's here's Senna, you know you can read. Oh, his life is so terrible and. How he has to walk around school and deal with the girls and typical anime stuff. But um, what's really nice is uh, if I go back to the main menu, back on the main menu here, uh, we have just to play a football game as our defaults. And I think this is like either instructions or notes or something like that. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's go with a standard game here. So we've got, uh, uh, you can have a single player, or you can play wirelessly with somebody. That's pretty cool. Obviously I'm on my own here, so let's have a single player game. 
And we can choose our um, teams. Now, Senna Kabayakawa plays for the Demon Devil Bats, so that'll be our team. And who do we want to have for our uh, opponent? Let's go with maybe these guys in uh, Knights in Shining Armor here. Okay. And you can choose the number of downs. Uh, I think this is how long each down is, 5, 10, 15 minutes. And computer smarts level, you know, easy, medium, hard. Now, uh, before I start a game, um, as I say, this is uh, going to work the ever-living heck out of my touch screen. And I just want to... I'm going to try and best to describe as I play, but in case these things come up too fast for me to introduce them, I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown. So you start off a, a, a game where you can see the entire field, and one team is going to have a kickoff. You're going to see a very nice animation of a guy, and he's going to start swinging his foot toward a football, and then it's going to stop with like a big arc. And what I want to do is just flick it with my stylus to see um, just how far the, the shot goes. Uh, later on, there's going to be other sections where, as the football is flying through the air, myself and my opponent will have to jump up and grab the ball. There's no jumping. There's no use of any of the buttons or keys or anything like that. All I'm doing is touch. So, as the animation plays, I want to hit the button when it's sort of highlighted. And if I'm successful, I will grab the ball. If I miss it, it'll be a, a foul or a drop or what have you, or an interception if I do really badly. Similarly, uh, during some of the... Um, uh, kickoffs or, or the, the launches of the new games, there'll be moments where um, I'm dodging and running between guys and I have to tap the highlighted section, or there's also moments where in order to win a, a, a scrum, or whatever the football equivalent of that is, I have to like rub back and forth really, really fast in order to win and progress the game. Uh, so, yes, I may not get a chance to describe each of these moments as the game plays, but... Uh, You'll see what I mean as I go. All right, let's let's do this. So, randomly choose who gets to go first. We do. Excellent. All right, we will be kicking off. And honestly, this game looks fantastic. Ah, there's that guy, Ye Yauchi Namura, I think his name is. He's sort of this, uh, I don't know, bad guy? I don't know, maybe he's just the antagonist for Senna. There's Senna with his eye shield, and there's the rest of the team. Let's go. All right. Kickoff time. Oh, our opponents get to go first. And I'm going to grab the ball in the air. Oh, you see, I need to jump between those guys with the touch of the button. Oh, I missed. Therefore, they got me. So you can see at the top the progression of the ball. Now this is your play, so here's the team up here and I can choose. This takes a little getting to, used to, but essentially if I want to do a kick, which is not a good idea at this stage of the game, I would hit that selection down there. Um, this tends to be pass to somebody and run. This tends to be um, all of your guys on the main line here will push through. So that's kind of, this doesn't tend to get you a lot of progress, but it does give you the chance to grab the ball out of the opponent's hands. And that one's another field kick. Uh, let's just go with the standard uh, throw and pass. So I get to choose which of my players, and you can see they've got each of them as a star rating and a certain amount of hit points or health. Um, since this guy's the best, let's select him. And it gives you some information at the top. I don't really know what that means, but let's let's choose to pass to him. Okay. He's gonna throw. And I gotta grab the ball. Oh, I got it. Good. And now I wanna. So we gained 15 yards there, and you can see the little arrow moves up. Uh, let's do that again, because I didn't do that very successfully. Sometimes when you grab the ball well, you're actually allowed to run. So let's see if I can do that again. And you can see now he's a little tuckered out. So let's pass to this person. He throws the ball. Okay, grab it. I grabbed it, but I fell again. But we had a, a four-yard gain. A little bit of movement up there. Not bad. 
you can see that the animation is fantastic. This is a DS game. Like, this is, game is almost 10 years old. Fantastic. All right, let's try this middle one here. And not, not entirely sure what all this is. I guess who is the best at it. So let's go that guy there. Okay. I hope I don't knock the camera off. Ah, here's Ice Shield. See how far I can get here. Look at him go. Now I want to run. Okay, 13 yard gain. Very good. We've moved quite far up there. We're probably not close enough to do a, a field goal kick thing. Let's let's try the red one. I'm trying to remember what that one is. Again, as some of these are clear, that is definitely throw the ball to somebody and run. And that one tends to be your best play most of the time until you're close enough to do like a field kick. But uh, anyway, I, I, I tend to use this one a lot. Uh, let's give this one a try here. I think it's your, use your special player. So let's see what happens here. I could use Eye Shield again, but he is kind of tired. Let's uh, it's select it's uh, recommending this guy. Let's go with him. Okay. Oh, now we need to push through. So you can see there's that orange thing up the top. Did pretty well. Got through. Oh, missed. Damn it. Oh, near. Intercepted. Still a three-yard gain. That's not bad. Uh, let's go with this one here. And it doesn't look like I have any options except for the top guy. I must choose these different characters based on their stats, and I'm assuming that's what some of these details are up here. I don't really know. So let's go with the only one we have highlighted. Oh, a fumble! Who touched it in time there? We did! Excellent. So I fumbled, but at least I didn't lose the ball. Again, anytime the ball is lit up like that or highlighted, you want to get it with your stylus pretty quick. Um, do we want to try some, yeah, well, let's try a field goal kick thing here. Why not? Just to mix it up. Field goal. Here we go. Is that good? I'm not entirely sure. But now we are on the um, the defensive side, so now our options change slightly. We've got um, a standard just uh, run after the guy and try and tackle him so that he doesn't catch the ball. We've got push our defense guys through their defense guys or interception. And again, you always haven't seen the kick option, which seems strange to me. But anyway, let's go with this one. I tend to use this one the most. And it's highlighting that guy, so it's, uh, this is our opponent here, so uh, I guess the game is suggesting he's the best player of the bunch, you might want to go for him. No, oh, totally missed it. But at least we got him. They got 11... An 11 yard gain. I don't know if you can see it up there, but now the arrow is pointing in the other direction. Uh, let's go with this one where my defense guys on the one line try to push through to his defense guys. And I guess we can only use our level one guy. Now watch this. If we push through, and if we get that orange way over there, it means we won, and we got through. That's how that play works. And now the arrow's pointing in our direction. 
Uh, let's try one of these. Let's try, uh, I think this is Interception. I don't know. This may not be a good play, but I just want to show it to you. Yeah, so I, I definitely chose wrongly there. Now I have to chase after him. You can see that I've got this small target area in the center of the screen. I want to rub in that very small area as best I can. It does make it challenging. Um, so we've tried these three. Let's go with this one. I don't know why sometimes the audience shouts like that, but whatever. Intercept. Oh, didn't get it. Oh, and he got away. So now I gotta chase him. Oh, we got him. So you can see in that one there, I rubbed the ever living heck out of that little window and it depleted the gray bar at the top. That means I win and I actually intercepted at a pretty decent length down the um, field. Go with this one. Ah, there we go. Passing complete. Uh, let's do that one. It's largely guesswork, and I think after a while, it does become intuitive how you want to play. Touchback. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Maybe he ran out. Um, also worth noting, I do have a special ability flickering up here to indicate something has maxed out and is ready to go. I don't know how to engage that. Unless that's um, the fact that this red is now available to me. Is that special? Let's give that a try. And you know what? We'll go with Eye Shield. No! No, oh, I didn't do well there. Shouldn't have gone with that one. One yard gain. Good lord, that's terrible. So that bottom one is punch. Unfortunately, it means the opponent always gets the ball. You don't really want to do a punt very often. Now they've got the ball, so my options have changed. Let's see if I can do this one. Alright, well there we go. There's Now we're on to the halftime show. I think I'll just leave it there, but you get roughly the idea. I mean, um, without knowing Japanese, you're kind of half-guessing what some of the instructions do or what they're trying to recommend. But it really looks amazing. It plays fantastically. I really like using the touchscreen for uh, the running and the, the dodging and the kicking and trying to grab the ball and all that kind of good stuff. It, it's a lot of fun, this game. Uh, really wacky too with the anime style, but um, it works. And yeah, if, if you're looking for something different for your original Nintendo DS, uh, Eye Shield 21 Max Devil Power may be quite a mouthful, but it's a really, really fun game. Highly recommend it. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you down the rabbit hole.